Welcome to the Words to Empower podcast, featuring Bishop Frank Stewart, pastor of the Acts Ministry in Conway and North Little Rock, and now, Pastor Stewart. Jesus, you sure don't love God. How can you love, how can you love God when, when Jesus was God manifested in flesh? So the Lord says to them, he, he says to them, he says, if God were your father, you would love me. For I proceeded forth from God. He says, you would know, you, you would love me because you would be able to tell that I came from truth. You see that? It's something, it's something about knowing truth. And we have to be taught this. It's, and and I'm, I'm learning that some people, it's not that they are liars. They just haven't come to grips with the truth. The truth. The truth. They really don't believe it. They don't understand it. They haven't come to grips with it. So so he says, Jesus is still talking to them. This is a long conversation that he's having with them concerning truth. Then he says, he says that he came from God. No have I come of myself, but God sent me. Verse 43, why do you not understand my speech? Because you are not able to listen to my words. Now, I want to pause for a second there and just talk about that. I want to read that again because this is so important in those areas in our lives that we don't even know that we're in bondage in. God says, I want to set you free from that. I want to bring you out of that. Now, now watch this. Watch this. He, he, he says this. He says, Jesus talking to them. He says, you don't understand my speech. And the reason you don't understand my speech, he says, because you're not able to listen to my word. Wow. You don't understand my speech because you can't, you, 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 you won't listen to my words. So you cannot understand the truth. The truth. I told you truth is something else. Truth is something else. Truth will reveal to you who you are. It will reveal it to you. And 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 but we have to be able to receive the truth that is being revealed. No, no. Watch this. They say Jesus comes back again. You're of your father, the devil, and the desires of your father you want to do. He was a murderer from the beginning. Now, who did the devil murder from the beginning? He murdered angels? No, it's not talking about it. It's, it's talking about a different dimension of murdering. See, because if I murder you in this life, you still have your eternal soul, and you can live with God forever. But here he's talking about somebody murdering in the life to come. And he says, and does not stand in the truth. He don't like truth. And he doesn't like it because there's no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own resources, for he's a liar and the father of it. He's the father of lies. So when he speaks, he speaks, he speaks. Think about that. When he speaks, the devil speaks. He speaks from his own resources. He's a liar. And he knows. See, the devil knows if, if, if I can get you to believe a lie, I have you in bondage. Because there can be no freedom when, where a lie is. Then he says in verse 45, but because I tell you the truth, you do not believe me. He says, which one of you convicts me of sin? Now, we read over this. What Jesus just said, look at my lifestyle. Which sin have you saw me commit? Which one of you? Now, now we know he was a sinless lamb. We, we know there is no sin in him. But he just asked a question. He just asked concerning the way he was living. Because truth lives a certain way. It just doesn't talk a big talk, a bold talk. But truth lives a certain way. So so he, he says, he says, why come you can't understand me? Why, why, why you can't un- understand me? And 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 when you look at my life, nobody here is 
is convicting me of sin. He goes on to say, and if I tell the truth, why do you believe not believe me? That's verse 46. So brothers and sisters, he says, he says you know, they're not going to believe if you tell the truth, and they're not going to believe if you tell a lie. So why lose your soul trying to convince somebody? A lie is a lie. You don't need to tell a lie. That lie, the Bible says, as the Bible says in the book of Revelation, all liars will have their day. They will have their part in the lake that burns with fire and brimstone. So he, he says this, and, and we're getting ready for the bombshell now. We're getting ready for Jesus to drop a bombshell, and we're going to show you how how religious these people were, but not just deliver, you know, how, how devilish they were. We're, we're going to see what is really in their hearts. We, we, we're going to see in a whole different dimension here. He says, he says in verse 48, St. John chapter 8, Then the Jews answered and said to him, Do we not say rightly that you are a Samaritan and have a demon? See, this is, this is why people don't engage in truth with some people, because it results in name calling when they feel as though they're being proven wrong or they're, their logic doesn't make any sense and they feel like they don't have any any way to get out of it then the bible says they what what they start doing is insulting jesus a samaritan we know they hated the samaritan they just said jesus you're a half breed and not just a half breed you got a devil you got a devil in you, you got a demon so we said right that you was a samaritan with a demon I wonder if any Samaritans in this crowd. I wonder if anybody, any Samaritans are here listening on to them as they degrade the Samaritans. Jesus answered, I do not have a demon. Stay tuned for more of Frank Stewart. And now for some special announcements. Thanks for partnering with the Axe Ministries. We value your service and your donations. That's why we've made it easy to make contributions to support our ministry. Simply go to your web browser and click the search bar and type in axeministriesonline.org. Then click Donate Online. It's really that easy. For mobile giving, text the amount you wish to donate to 501-302-4242. That's Simple Give. And now, more of Pastor Frank Stewart. Jesus answered, I do not have a demon, but I honor my father, and you dishonor me. Now, Jesus comes out here in verse 49, and he says to them, he says to them, I don't have a demon. He says, I honor my father, but you dishonor me. See, if you dishonor the one that God sent, you dishonor God, whether that is a preacher, whether that's a teacher, whether that's a man, boy, or girl. When you dishonor, when you dishonor them, the ones who God sought or sent, you dishonor God. So, the Bible says, He says, He says, He says, this is now this is this is straight talk. When you look at this, He says. It is my father who honors me of whom you say that he is your God. You claim that he's your God. Yet you have not known him, but I know him. And if I say I do not know him, I shall be be a liar like you. But I do not, but I do know him and keep his word. So when you, when you, when you hear what Jesus just told him, Jesus said, if, if I change my story, that will make me a liar like you. Now, one thing you got to understand is that is 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 that what the people are saying here in the text. You 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 got to you got to you got to understand that uh, that Jesus called him a liar, and we know a liar is something that a person does to deceive to deceive. This this is these are not accidents. Now he, he says you you are a liar. That means that you're conscious of it. You know what you're doing. You're doing this to deceive. So he says, 
he says to them, be a liar like you, but I know him and keep his word. Jesus, I keep his word. I know him. And you remember when Jesus was getting ready to die, he says, the, the prince of this world cometh, but he has nothing in me. There was nothing. Jesus said, I don't have anything that belonged to him. I don't have no untruths in me. So he can't, he can't blackmail me with any untruths. Then Jesus says this in verse 56. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. Now that's a powerful statement. It's a powerful statement. Watch their response to it. Then the Jews said to him, you're not yet 50 years old, and have you seen Abraham? Man, can you imagine this? Here's Jesus talking to these men there with his disciples, and he's talking. And he, he just said that he was greater than their father Abraham. That means that if he's saying he that 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 Abraham, that he's greater than Abraham, and the truth is that he Abraham rejoiced to see his day. But they look at him and they say, You're not fifty. Now he's not talking about he's not talking about as a man, but he's talking about as God. He was all God, all man. All God, all man. So they come back with not being 50 years of age. They was right. He wasn't 50 years of age, but they didn't know the truth about Jesus. Jesus said to them, Verily I say to you, Wow. Before Abraham was, I am. Now the cat's out the bag now. That the revelation of who he was. He said, "Before Abraham was, I am." He just said that he was the one crying out the burning bush in the book of Exodus when he was dealing with Moses. He says, "I am before before Abraham existed. I am. I was here before Abraham was born. Not that I was born before Abraham." I was here before Abraham because I don't have a beginning or an ending. This is the most high talking. This is the most high talking. He says, Jesus, the son of God. Yes, all man, all God. And he just said that he just said that he, he saw Abraham. And Abraham got happy. Abraham rejoiced to see his day. And the Bible says here. Then they took up stones to throw at him. They took up stones to throw at him. Too much truth. Too much truth. The truth. We said the truth will make you free. This truth here made them so angry that they wanted to kill Jesus. They wanted to kill him. They wanted to destroy him because of truth. 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 Wow. Wow. They couldn't handle this dimension of truth. What I'm saying to you, brothers and sisters, that there is a dimension of truth that that we struggle with. We struggle with. Even to this day. Even to this day, people got a lot of good things to say about the Lord Jesus Christ. They call him a great prophet or the greatest of the prophets. They will call him Mary's baby. Many, many things they'll say about him. But when he gets down to the truth, get down to the truth about who he is. I am. That means that means that there is no God with him, no God beside him, no God after him, no God before him. I am. Now that's that can be truth that is very, very hard to digest and deal with. All right, brothers and sisters, I wanted to talk about this during this time. During this time we're living in and what we're seeing is a march. We see people protesting because they want they want a level of freedom. Freedom. A level of freedom. And you can never have that until the dialogue changes and the narrative changes to what is truth 
what is truth? If we can't get to that, if we can't get to that, what is truth then? What's going to happen, what will happen is that we'll be caught up in falsehood. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. For mobile giving, text the amount you wish to donate to 501-302-4242. The Axe Church in North Little Rock is located at 1224 Franklin Street. Morning Glory begins at 8 a.m. on Sunday mornings. Sunday School begins at 8.30 a.m. And for a powerful word, join us at 9.30 a.m. for our morning worship service. Bible study is each Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. For more information, go to axeministriesonline.org or give us a call at 501-329-2055. Thank you for tuning in to the Axe Ministry Podcast. The Axe Church is located at 1423 Indian Street in Conway and 1224 Franklin Street in North Little Rock, Arkansas. Tune in each day to hear an inspiring word from Pastor Frank C.